This is Earth, a planet that has changed so much with the presence of humans. We could say, if there were no humans, most of Earth would not look like this. Human presence has affected everything. From the smallest organisms to the biggest animals on Earth are affected by humans and some of them even went extinct. Let's not mention environment. Humans has caused a lot of damage. You might say humans didn't do anything, but humans did this. Which animal dumps trash in nature? Which animal destroys jungles? Which animal burns fossil fuels and ruins the air? And that causes the earth to get warmer and other animals go extinct. But in this video, we're gonna see if on planet earth there were no humans, what would earth look like? Since day one, humans have kind of started the damage process. We can bring examples from a long time ago. Like in the most recent ice age, one of the most important animals on earth went extinct. The mammoth. Around 10,000 years ago, the last mammoth walked the earth. Then they were extinct. The way people back then killed these things, it seems like they like to kill them a lot. But until humans reached technology, the damage they were causing to the environment was very slow. But when they reached technology, they really went full throttle in destroying the planet. This time, they're not only gonna ruin the planet, they're gonna ruin the planet and themselves. Scientists believe that this global warming thing is all because of human selfishness. And it started around 200 years ago. Deforestation, creating buildings and industries has caused the Earth's temperature to rise. It's not only gonna get hotter, but the heat melts the ice, and when the ice melts, it rises sea levels. But other than the Earth, the things that suffer the most damage are these animals, and they don't have any say in what's going on. But the place they live at gets ruined more and more every day. They destroy forests and they build buildings. But we don't only destroy, they fix and make some things better. Like genetically modified foods are kind of a good thing because there's more produce, like they did with the corn. They also domesticated different types of animals so they can live with them and use them for their own good. Like for example, the pistachio started in Iran and Afghanistan. But if there were no humans, you think there would be pistachios in America? And like right now, there's so much of it planted in America? These are the differences humans make to planet Earth. They also move the animals around the Earth. Sometimes on purpose, sometimes on accident. In the year 1859, humans took the European rabbit to Australia and they released him into the wild. Right now, the population of these rabbits is up to 200 million. And you could call that an infestation and it's causing a lot of problems in Australia. They ruin the environment and there's no predators to kind of lower their population. And because of this, their population grows exponentially. If they don't actually think of a plan, they're gonna have a lot more issues. The wild animals that live on Earth, they try to keep a distance from humans. And that is why they are in certain parts of Earth. But if there were no humans, like for example, lions would be everywhere on planet Earth or elephants, even bears. But humans cause these animals 
to kind of create invisible borders around themselves. You could 100% believe that if there were no humans, the deforestation wouldn't happen and there would be way more trees than today. So there would be no people to cut these trees and use the wood to create cities. Humans have been cutting trees down for a very long time. They've been doing this deforestation thing for thousands of years. Until they could, they cut down the trees to use their resources. But these days, humans are trying to not ruin more trees, and to replace it, they plant more trees. This is a really good thing, but it's gonna take a lot of work to get back what it used to be. A lot of humans have realized what is going on with planet Earth and are trying to help figure out the issues. They try to stop forest fires, but with technology so they could stop the fire before it spreads a lot. Even astronomers are looking for a way that if an asteroid is heading towards Earth, they could somehow deflect it. Humans today are trying very hard to get back what it used to be and try to stop what is happening to Earth. They even try to keep the seeds of plants. If you've seen our seed vault in Norway, you'll know what kind of a vault they built to keep the seeds all around the world in. This place is very important because it has the seeds of almost every plant all over the world inside it. And if one area of earth gets ruined, they could replace it. Back in a day, a flood could literally make a certain plant go extinct. But nowadays, that seed is available in that vault. Humans have also tried to keep the seeds of animals. But by seeds, we mean sperm. The places that these sperms are kept at are called frozen zoos. There are a few spots around the world that are keeping animal sperms in a vault. And it's mostly kind of important animals. From a simple wheel in a village to a voyager, which is cutting through space and traveling at a really high speed, all of them were built by humans. So if there were no humans, none of these stuff would be built either. Either way, humans are the owners of Earth right now. And everything that happens is kind of on our hands, even the future. The decision is up to us. Are we gonna resolve what we did to this planet and the organisms or no? Only time will tell. But we also have to know this, that the internet helped humans out a lot to realize what's actually going on. And it helps us figure out solutions on how we can fix it. And this gives us hope.